Good morning and welcome back to the channel. We have new figure reveals. We have Elite Series 111 as well as a whole bunch of stuff that we need to get into right now. And that being with the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes. This man has gotten at least five, six different gears ever since his return. And this one potentially might be the one, man. Not sure what it is about this one, but it's bringing something very strong to the table. And yes, it is an elite. I know that the ultimate edition that we chose got was pretty damn good but this one you guys like put me down put me down for several of them i feel like this bright white alternate scan it's definitely doing one up from we have seen in prior releases especially the bright finish on that gear something about that freshy fresh man it's gonna do some great stuff for the future custom fix-ups maybe the alternate scan probably will be sitting a little bit better i feel like the one that's actually on the figure it's in kind of low but again we're gonna be playing around with some stuff and we're definitely gonna be doing a full figure unboxing review on the channel so turn on that notification bell and drop a like if you cannot wait to bring the judgment day to your desk, man, this is going to be insane. We got Balor in the updated gear right here, bringing that proper look as what we have seen right here on recent TV. This is going to be so damn cool to round up the whole faction, man. I feel like the jacket. The scan. Well, maybe not the scan. I mean, there are some questions, and it might look better once in hand, but cannot wait to get my hands on this one. This one is going to be pretty damn solid, right up alongside Rhea Ripley, Damian Priest, as well as the rest of the fam, you guys. Now, as far as Ricochet, this might potentially be his last figure we might get, at least for now. I'm sure he'll eventually re-sign a deal, but as you guys know, Ricochet has been written off TV as far as the contract right now. It's still kind of in the works and most likely AEW bound. But for right now, all we can do is appreciate the fact that my boy has brought the damn Johnny Gargano syndrome. What the hell, Mattel? How are you going to do the man wrong on his last departure? Like, them kick pads, they ain't right, bro. You know what is right, though? Is that nice jacket. The good skin. Actually, might fact, might, yeah, kind of looks similar to the one that we did get in his last figure release. But I feel like this one, you can definitely take flight. You're going to take flight to the next level. You're going to be signing up to get that damn fix-up kick pads. I wish there was actual kick pads that we could fix this one with and then maybe then could this sit a little bit higher ranking from the set as far as tony oh yeah call up the gang call up the squad call up the fam because this man has brought the jacket he brought the nice hat and he also brought the nice blue plants man i love this you guys something about this figure it's gonna be able to help me out different figgy scenarios not just in anthony's situation but as far as like other characters that have come to mind that we can do up with this fodder we haven't seen some stuff these are bringing some new molds to the table so i'm genuinely interested as far as how this is going to measure up with my other customs as far as trish stratus oh my rock and roll oh this figgy is not in control and why they didn't even do loose images on this bro they just gave us the makis and they're like yeah whf's gonna like i don't know bro like there was questionings when they debuted this figure so i cannot wait to see as to how that's gonna do up alongside what was it elite series i can't even think man it's been a good while since we've gotten her and i feel like one 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 is gonna be bringing all three and maybe all five actually six seven there's about seven figures there's also one more and it should be unveiled hopefully later on in the week so definitely stay tuned you know want to miss out on her or the sandman because this guy he brought all kinds of beers he brought miller he brought bud he brought spotted cow and they included every single one of them with the damn figure look at all these damn beers like what the hell is this guy gonna be doing is he gonna be having a party and not inviting the whf fam oh yeah you're definitely inviting the whf fam you're dropping a like you're bringing the ecw shirt bring some of that barbed wire bring the damn kendo stick and bring the good old us survey that's right the red the white the blue all colors of the damn rainbow except yellow green orange we'll talk about those a little bit but yes right now we got usa being brought to you by the run and chase of series 111 pretty damn freaking cool man as well as the elite greatest hits number four we got booyaka booyaka ray mysterio randy orton Hulk Hogan, and AJ Styles. Matter of fact, this full set, you guys, it is now in stock. So if you guys ended up missing out first go around, guess what? You got your updates, you got your true FX, you got your pin list, and you got Elite 
Series Greatest Four still without the damn trench coat for Randy Orton. What the hell, bro? Are you going to release that figure again? At least give us the damn freaking solid one-piece coat. Now, shout out to my boy MDT because he got his hands on probably the highest ranking non-WWE Mattel figure in the second market right now. That's right. Jacob Fatu, this man, he's gotten a figure release. Now, we did talk about this yesterday, and I can guarantee you, based on what we saw on MDT's figure review yesterday, you don't want to miss out on this, bro. Like, this is pretty good in scale with your WWE figures. And I just wanted to let you know, bro, that this, I got to add this to my collection. I do got some thoughts and ideas. Drop a like if you guys want to see some potential easy fix subs with figures you might already have right now that we could do up right here on a future video this weekend i had something in store so definitely be sure to turn on that notification bell if you don't want to miss any of whf's customs elites ultimate editions we're bringing it to you and so is entertainment earth i'm gonna tell you this right now bro go hit it up got 39.99 but i gotta do it up on the el cheapo so who knows i feel like my my custom fix up might be able to help you out if you don't want to drop that banger on them dollars also v dog customs bro he put some fabric goods on it i wanted to share this with you i feel like this figure man like you put it up alongside that's actually a, a uso ue if you guys are wondering like dude how does he look up alongside the rest of the usos there you go man there's your answer the question is is will whf end up picking it up that's why you're dropping a like you gotta let the whf family know that power town ultras Two. Oh my gosh, you guys. This is insanity. Like, Kamala, right? When did you guys think that we were going to get a Kamala again? Nobody. And I'm going to tell you why. This man, he ain't no longer on a WWE contract here. There was issues. There was lawsuits. I'm not going to get into it. But the fact that we have the opportunity to add this figure to the collection. If you missed out First Legends, because that was well over 10 years ago. A lot of you may be new to the collecting game. So guess what? You got your options right there. PowerWrestling.com. Not just with him, but also... Boof, boof, boof. We got Junkyard Dog right there with the full-on blue, with the red, with the chain, with the... Oh, man, this figure is pretty damn solid. I feel like both of them should do pretty good. And I'm kind of genuinely interested as far as the overall quality of this figure brand. Haven't seen it, so I, I, God, I don't know. What do you guys think? Should I put a pre-order? Go in the comments. Let me know. I feel like that'd be pretty solid. And another solid set that's going to be landing here at your doorstep. That's right. We got Survivor Series with the build a figure. We got the Sammy to complete the bloodline as well as the rest. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and dissect that set once it comes in. Now, let's get back into this, you guys, because people are asking, Hero Fix, why the crap are you posting pictures of customs? I'm going to tell you why. One, right, when you drop a like, Mattel listens. Two, we get to work. Three, you get to see it long before anybody else does and i got sneaky peekies for all those that rio itsu wanted to answer and who's answering it whf i put some orders through so again be sure to come back to the channel if you guys don't want to see any of these updates right here on your bray wide you know we're gonna go ahead and call it right now your y6 Bam, boy, right now, that freaking lantern, pure savagery. The future that we're going to see right here of Uncle Howdy, savagery. Why are we doing sneak peeks? Because WHF wants to see it. The fam wants to see it. And we're going to piece it together before you. The pig too, bro. I actually got all the damn farm animals lined up right now. So guess what? You better turn on that noti and you better bring it. Because this set right here that's going to be dropping in probably in the next month. Oh, yeah. We are going to unveil it. We're going to reflect it. And maybe the WHF fam is going to be like, yeah, put me down, bro. But get in. Give me your thoughts. Let me know what you guys think. What do you guys think of Elite Series 111? Do you guys want to see the Wyatt 6 in bigger form? You got to tell us in the comments, bro. Mattel ain't going to listen if you don't talk. I appreciate you guys for stopping by. Drop a like. Hit the subscribe button. And we'll see you, my friends, on the next one.